this is Yuli's Q. This is from your textbook, Chapter 11. The date I'm using for is from your textbook. Look for Table 11.5 on page 365. Go to page 365. The Q is how to calculate that the formula is A times D minus B plus C over A times D plus B plus C. And here's the table. All this is, you know like you'd see the 2 by 2 on the other pages? Your 2 by 2 is right here. See where I put black in between? Let me just trace it for you so you can see. This is, this is a 2 by 2. These are the numbers where your A, B, C, and D are located. And notice I have them labeled A, A25, B0, C35, and D45. This is in your textbook. Now we're going to fill in the numbers in the equation in the formula. So first, A25 times D45 minus B0 times C35 over. That's your numerator. Now we're going to do the numbers on the bottom, your denominator. So the, pretty much the stu you, see, you see they're the same thing. You're just subtracting up top and adding down below. So again, A25 times D45 plus B0 times C35. Show the professor all of your work, okay? Because I think they, in the textbook they don't always show all the steps. But show your professor all the work. First, it's 25 times 45 equals 1,125 minus 0 times 35 equals 0. Now let's go to the, the bottom denominator. 25 times 45, which we know from up above, is 1,125 plus 0 times 35 is 0. So we wrote that out. Now we're going to go 1,125 minus 0. We know that's 0, so that's 1,125 over 1,125 plus 0. 1,125 equals and 1,125 divided by 1,000. 125 equals 1, a positive 1 here. So the Q equals 1. That's saying as far as that there is a perfect correlation. Because remember, as far as the correlation, the measures of association, they range between 0 meaning there's like none, to 1 meaning it's perfect, or negative 1 meaning it's perfect that way. But we can tell looking at the data, it's like, wow, this, this doesn't look perfect. Something's up. This, this doesn't tell us enough. So what the next video is going to show you how to do is your, um, fa your chi coefficient, which that will let you know is there something going on between A and B or C and D or A and C or B and D. You can like see that in the next video. I'll explain how to do um, the, the chi coefficient.